Here's the Synapse electronics tray. This contains in the rear of the receiver a simple OSD, some of the excess wiring. The battery would go here. And then I've got a video transmitter here without the antenna currently. And the camera here. Whatever your payload is for your particular plane, particularly the battery, this is a convenient way to access it and then to slide it back into the airplane. Now, this is easily constructed out of foam board, which is pre-covered with tape on both sides. And the length of that tray should in no case be longer than this point, where the fuselage taper begins, or if you've used the foam board bolstering technique for your motor mount, like this, it should not, the tray should not be any longer than from the nose to that point as this will act as a stop for the tray being slid rearward. You may actually choose to make the tray a little bit shorter than the nose. Here I've made it stop about an inch short so that if this ever impacts any rocks or a surface it will tend to uh, absorb the impact and it also has the effect of this little folded gift card here it acts as a little bit of a stop so the tray won't slide forward unless you lift it up a little and forward. So there's a lot of options here, but in any case, for this fuselage, I'm going to make the tray 13 inches minus an inch, 12 inches long. Constructing the electronics tray for the Synapse is very similar to making the fuselage itself, except that the paper is pre-covered with tape on both sides and the paper is not removed in the corners and the fold interval is different. So we'll actually need to measure the fuselage actual internal diameter and this is two and three quarters. Incidentally this was a two and a half inch paper interval results in two and three quarter inch diameter. Also note the height. This one is two and a quarter inches so I'd like my tray to fit right up to that dimension with just a little bit of room for sliding in and out. So I've translated that measurement to this piece of pre-covered foam board, two and three quarters inches across there. Then take a straight edge like this and use a blunt instrument like the back of a spoon or the edge of some scissors or something like that to simply press down the foam board to fatigue the foam inside and to depress the paper a little bit. And then when you remove that, you'll see that you can just bend that up into the tray shape. Having folded up your tray, go ahead and slide it into your fuselage like that. And take note of where it clears the edge of the fuselage interior and mark that spot on both sides. Now what we'll do with this excess here is to incise the foam board there, peel off the foam, and wrap this paper and tape over and finish that edge on both sides so you have a nice clean tray. So here having cut into the paper and foam along that line, only halfway through, not through to the other side, and then cut off the excess leaving about a half an inch strip, we can just take this piece of foam board off and using the edge finishing technique, I will glue this over to make a nice finished edge. One method I've described of finishing these edges is to use a piece of uh, metal, straight edge or ruler, put it under the flap, apply hot glue along there, and then quickly flip and fold that over. What I've liked to do lately is to use double-sided tape like this and put it inside the flap and perform essentially the same operation with the straight edge like that. To hold that down and then just to dribble a little bit of very thin CA glue right along that edge to hold this down. Uh, keep an eye on that. Some brands of this double-sided tape are sensitive to the glue in that this will peel right back up as soon as you apply the glue. So you may wish to clamp down a straight edge or something to hold that down. Some forms of double-sided tape might actually do the job all by themselves. So see how that works out. You can also use the same method on the ends or just use some tape or what I like to do is use some thin foam safe CA glue to be applied right along the edge there just to toughen that up and in any case when you're done you can fold that up and 
slide it right into your fuselage like that. Now while these corners are pretty unsightly and not super aerodynamic, you do need some means to grab to pull out your tray when you're done or when you need to access your internal electronics. So use your discretion on how to configure this part.